Good morning. The Orlando Gardener coming at you. So many, many, many years ago, I was gardening and I decided to go to the fairgrounds here in Orlando because this is a place that has uh, local nurseries that come and visit and share their bounty, if you would. And I used to be a really, really big um, yard seller. And when I found out I didn't have time to yard sell, going to the farmer's markets and flea markets turned out to be the next best thing. And it was quick and easy. While there, I ran into this lady that had mango trees. And she's still out there at the Central Florida Fairground to this day. Uh, there's a couple of ladies that are out there that are of Oriental descent. But this one in particular either chews Tabasco or snuff. And you can tell. it's She got a jaw full of it and her teeth are... You know, when she opened up her mouth to talk, you can see it in there. Well, anyway, uh, she convinced me to get mango trees. I didn't go out there to get mango trees, but she convinced me to. And this was one of the first of the three trees that I got. This is a Bailey's Marvel. Uh... I've had it for years, and it's not a giant tree because I prune it every year. It's probably eh, about 12 feet at its maximum. And it is a workhorse. It produces big, beautiful late-season fruit. Well, that was one of three trees that she sold me. Bailey's Marvel was one. And also... Nam Doc Mai. Woo! I want to make you mad, buddy. Let me go this way. Okay. My face is kind of close. Nam Doc Mai. Woo! You turn that way. Which sat right in this location, right here. That this now red sugar apple from India is now planted in. Many of you that have come to the garden for years, you saw this big, beautiful Nam Doc Mai right here in this location. Well, it's no longer here. It's gone. I sold it. The guy that purchased it didn't have too, too much luck with it, but this is where it was. That was the second tree. Well, the third tree was supposed to be an oak rung tongue. That's what it was supposed to be. But it turned out not to be that. It turned out to be a seedling. And that's it. And this tree, which is about 15 feet tall, has been with me all these years. And what I have done over the years, I've grafted it like here. It took... What did I put there? Pickering. Oh my goodness. Why did I put Pickering on this thing? And then around the front of the tree right here y'all see where the graph took? That is Bailey's Marble which is producing this year. But this tree itself has never, ever produced because it turned out to be a seedling. An associate of mine, and some of you all know Richard Wynn. I hope I didn't mess the name up. But he's on YouTube. Um, he used to do a lot more than what he does now. Southern Spiritual Life, the guy that taught me about growing uh, in pots, well, taught me about taught me that it was possible to grow in pots 
not the details of the soil and all that stuff like that. I had to learn that stuff on my own. But just me looking into his backyard, I saw that uh, we could grow in pots because he had a ton of them. Well, he came to get budwood. And when he did, he took it for an analysis. And they told him this was not oak prong tongue. That this was actually a cross between Madame Francis and Hayden which would be a new mango. And he looked at me, he said, Kevin, you can name this. Well, I've grafted a few other things onto it over the years and just waited. And finally, you all, guess what? It's here. To this year, we will have fruit on the Betty Lou. Oh my goodness, let's see. Here we go. Panicles all over the tree. <laughs> all up at the top and everything. So, Betty Lou is now going to have fruit. Oh, more than one type of fruit because I did do quite a few grabs on here at different places. Another one, I believe. I actually put Florigon on here, and Florigon just took off. So I had to cut all the Florigon out. They were just overpowering the whole tree. But this is Betty Lou Mango, brand new variety. Supposedly a Madame Francis Hayden Cross. So it should be a big mango. Hopefully it's not too fibrous with Madame Francis being in there. Uh, but y'all pray and let's hope that it's uh, a good piece of fruit. I have uh, kept this tree at about 15 feet, give or take, and uh, it stayed that way. It's taken some heavy pruning. Where did I get the name from, Betty Lou? Well, the people that led me to Christ. Uh, their, their mother passed away in 2023. And that was a portion of her name. So I honored them by naming this tree Betty Lou. Introducing the Betty Lou mango tree to the world. And we'll be tasting the fruit for the first time on camera right here on the Orlando Gardeners channel. Just wanted to introduce this to you all. And uh, hey, we got more, more uh, good things to come. All right, if y'all like the channel, Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. And listen, love yourself. I didn't say be self-righteous. No, I didn't. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Like the guy said on Jurassic Park when he tried to break the code. Not that. But just have some self-care in 2024. Because if, if you don't care about you, how can you expect somebody else to care about you? All right, this is the Orlando Gardener coming at you. Y'all have a good one. Introducing Betty Lou Mango.